All right, folks, special video today. We are going to be testing the 20-inch induction wheels versus the 19-inch Gemini wheels without the hubcaps and with the hubcaps. And then we're also going to be testing a product called Halo Disc, which is a startup company, and they said their wheel covers will actually save you even more range than just having these hubcaps on. So we're going to test all that today. I'm also going to answer the question if you're like, should I get the 20s, should I get the 19s? I'm going to talk about the comfort between the two and the look, in my opinion, now that I own both. Also, after this video is complete, I'm going to be selling these 19-inch wheels and putting my 20s back on. So if you want those wheels, send me an email. They're $1,500. Hopefully you're local because I really don't want to ship them. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is throw the hubcap on. I do have this finishing set on here. Um, I'll have that link down in the description. To take it off, they include this tool right here, which is very useful. Um, but basically, you just slide it into the crease between the rim, and then you scratch the shit out of it. There we go. And then that pops right off. To line this up to make it easy, here's the notch for the air valve. Uh, I'm just going to line that up. There you go. They're on. I've checked tire pressure on the car. We're at 38 PSI all around. That should increase as we get more heat in the tires. So 38 PSI should get it right up to the 42 PSI it's recommended from factory. I keep this thing in the back of my car along with this portable uh, air compressor in case you get stuck anywhere. Since there's no spare tire in Tesla's, um, I bring this with me. It's what I use to cross the country. That will also be linked below. There's a lot of useful links um, down in the description. Also, I've preconditioned the battery on the Tesla, so it's at operating temperature. So we should be good to go, and this should be an even test all around for all four of the tire options. Just so you guys know, here's the current trip. Distance one mile, duration four minutes, and that's the average so far. This is the number that we're going to look at to see if the wheels make a difference. Uh, on this journey. So it's a 44 mile round trip. It's currently 62 degrees outside. The battery's been preconditioned. All tires have been checked for the proper temperatures. So let's go. Also, I will not be running the air conditioning. If anything, I will crack a window if it gets too hot in here, uh, but we should be fine. As far as speed goes, I'm going to go five miles per hour over the speed limit. Most of this driving is going to be a 65 mile per hour speed limit, so I'm going to be driving at 70 miles per hour, no air conditioning, trying to make this car run as efficiently as possible, just so you're aware of the parameters, because everyone tests theirs, because everyone tests theirs in different ways, just so you know exactly what I'm doing. Time lapse. casino everyone there's holsters at the slot machines for people's oxygen tanks it's very sad when you go in a casino i love casinos i love las vegas i love gambling 1-800 gambler i mean these billboards they show these beautiful people i mean they're just they're maybe at caesar's palace maybe they're not at the arizona whatever casino i mean that's just a that's just a long shot, but um, the route that I'm taking is from Chandler out to Viquiva Hotel and Casino. 202 extension that they've put behind South Mountain is amazing. It's a beautiful road, very smooth, and there's not much traffic on it, which is why I chose this route, so I can keep as close as I can to going 70 miles per hour. Also, uh, to those of you who are always concerned about my safety, thank you. Uh, the reason I'm holding the camera is because when I attach it to the windshield, you get road noise and you can't hear my voice as well. So that's why I'm holding it. I need to find a better audio setup. I need maybe a recommendation if you guys could for uh, like a microphone where I can record the audio uh, separately than the video so it's very clear and then I can just sync it up afterwards. So 
that's it. So that's the route I'm on, and I'll let you know if I have any further thoughts. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll give you the results on which wheels uh, were best, and I'll try to keep it as short and concise as possible. But I also understand you're here for entertainment. There are plenty of channels out there. They give you just the facts, but those people probably also counted kissing their mother as a kiss. So, and that's, you know, I just want to bring you a different perspective, different science, and, and I hope you appreciate it. on the road. Something I would like to discuss right now is the ride quality of the 19 inch wheels compared to the 20 inch wheels. The ride quality of the 19s is better. I'm not gonna say it's like night and day, but it's noticeably better. When you go over bumps, you can just feel the extra sidewall on the tire um, cushioning you from like the harsh hit of it. And again, as a reminder, I do have the unplugged luxury coilover suspension from Unplugged Performance to improve the ride quality of the car, and that's why it's also lowered a little bit. If you're asking yourself, okay, well, what should I get? Should I get the 20s? Should I get the 19s? I get it. The nice part about the 19s is if you pull the hubcaps off, you can put a finishing set on, and I think it's a pretty good looking wheel. The reason I have the 20s is because I think they look better, and I don't care about the range difference between the two. On the website, it says that you will get 318 miles of range if you put the induction 20s on your car, and if you put on the Gemini wheels with the hubcaps, you will get 330 miles of range. So to me, I really didn't care. I was like, the 20s are awesome, and I'm getting them because of the looks. The car has enough range. So if you're asking yourself the question, I think it's a $2,000 option. You just need to make the decision if you want to go for looks or absolute functionality and make the car as efficient as possible. So, me personally, I like the 20s. Um, if you're somewhere where there's a lot of potholes, like brutal potholes, like New York or LA or maybe Pittsburgh or I don't know what Boston's like, you know, you have to just, you have to make that decision for yourself. So as far as ride quality goes, yes, it will absolutely help to get the 19 inch wheels. It will cushion you from bumps. The car will probably ride slightly quieter. So there's several things, uh, but overall to me, I like the looks of the 20s. So that's why I went with them. Damn baby, what your watt hours is? Look, oh, looking good in red. Now, before we head over to Cameron's house to install the 20s and also install the halo disc to see what the range is when those are installed, I'm going to take the opportunity to fully clean these so I can clean in the barrel and all over where you normally can't when the wheels are on your car. I use Hydrosilex wheel cleaner. I also use this wheel brush that does not scratch the satin wheels. And on hydrosilex.com, use code JeebsFebruary. It changes by the month. You can save 25% off your order. I've been partnered with them for over a year now and they're excellent car cleaning supplies and they're always innovating. You don't have to dig around on their site for the best product. They just put their best product out front and then you have it. So they're great, but let's get these cleaned up. So to verify what I said earlier, we are now up to 41.5 PSI. Uh, like I said, once those got some heat in them, that would take it right up to 42. Also, I'm a moron. Uh, I drove that first route with hubs on this side and no hubs on this side. If you unsubscribe for that, I get it. But now you get bonus content because now I'm gonna put all four hubs on, do the same exact route, see if that makes any difference. Then we'll switch to no hubs, then we'll switch to halo disc, then we'll put on the 20s. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's a look at what they're gonna look like when they're all done. This is a really good looking factory wheel. I mean, it's unbelievable what it looks like. Also, I just placed an order from Unplugged Performance. Exciting stuff coming, make sure you're subscribed. So quick trick that we just figured out. This is the tool that they give you. It broke, as you can see. But here in the Karma Speed garage, Shout out. We figured out using a screwdriver is much easier. It's not gonna break this either. It's hard plastic. Ever pop it in and it comes right out. You'll have no issues.
I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Would you actually put this on your car? This is the most Tesla thing I've ever seen in a while. Yeah, it's not as exciting as an exhaust or anything like that, but Hey, if it makes it more efficient, that's what we're about. That's what the cult's about, baby. I know in the future, Cameron is 100% going to have a Tesla on the channel. So we'll document this. Someone clip this, and then when he has a Tesla, we'll clip it back in. It'll go viral. It should be this 21 millimeter Big Daddy. I would throw that socket on there before you send it. Have you ever used a tool before? Nope. Okay. <laughs> His first time using power tools. <laughs> It's like when you're a three-year-old. My fur, does this seem snug to you? Does it feel snug? Yeah, I mean, right. that's the only play in it. You can let her eat. Okay, first time using a tool. Is she on the pucks? Should be. I love manual labor. <laughs> so does Randall, that's why I hired him. <laughs> hey, what, my first time using a tool, that was pretty impressive. That was. <laughs> Do you feel insecure right now? Um, yeah, I'm a little out of place, for sure. <laughs> I'm much better just talking in the car and not doing manual labor. I do love manual labor though, so it's, I'm a little torn. We're here to make you more comfortable, but you gotta get uncomfortable to get comfortable. That's right. I'm proud of you. I mean, you're all about building confidence. In the garage, in the garage. baby. So that's what we're doing here. It's just an extension of the brand, really. So, so go ahead and yank this wheel out of here. Okay. That's how it works, right? Is that how the oh. install works? Oh. She. oxidation there a little rust a little classic good old az that's all you have that's for a tesla hand oh yeah that's rare dang bro well this is a good thumbnail opportunity man no hate the tesla people we're just joking around yeah we're just you know you gotta have fun you can't be serious all the time ben's pretty hard to roast because he's too busy roasting himself so right i've already I gotta, done it i gotta pick the low-hanging fruit <laughs> right you should start selling an online course to tesla owners that's a great idea I'll use you as the guy that doesn't know anything. <laughs> Dude, I've put an air intake on before. Yeah. That, just so you know. I mean, that's something. And those drop-in filters? Jeez. No one puts them on better. Videos get so much better when there's interaction. Right? If you're really on a minimalistic route at, at as a Tesla owner, you can go to O'Reilly Auto Parts, go buy a 21 millimeter specifically, and then grab a manual wrench. You could literally buy one of these. And then only have the only two tools you have are the ones to install these. All right, fam, you ever want to know how to get a lug nut out of a socket? You do this. And that's a bad sign. That's a very bad sign. I like the landscaping here. What's it? What is this type of plant? Um, that's, that's a nice. front wheel drive piece of history. You know, she might blossom into a nice covered and weed axle assembly maybe one day okay oh that would have been good all right so proud of you Thank you. growing up maybe by a hundred thousand subs we'll know how to do a thing or two <laughs> you want to hear the depressing story i want to share with everyone real quick i went on social blade the other day bad thing to do because it's highly inaccurate i looked at my projection to get a hundred thousand subscribers Guess what year it was? Uh, oh, it's, it's 2022. It said 2035. No, 2025. Oh, okay. That's, that's not... depressing. I need to get there this year. Yeah, like, for sure. If I'm not there this year, it's time to give it up. You know what I just realized? What? I think that side's for the other side now because the way the arrows are going. You're probably right. <laughs> that's just the decal, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't want the decal the right way? <laughs> not really. Uh, they put they, If you put it backwards, that's even funnier. <laughs> yeah, we're going backwards. That's the way we're going because... Like, it doesn't make a difference functionally. It's no, just a sticker. Yeah, you were making me think it was... Like, I'm thinking like a... Yeah. Is there any chance in the future you would have a Tesla on your channel? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The aftermarket's not, like, obviously expansive yet. But... Ceramic coat my windshield. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'll do clear bra. Right. You know, wheels, tires, coilovers. Um, and then it'll be over. It'll be it. I'm just kidding. Just trade it in. <laughs> we'll find some, some things to do. I'm over this install like you can't imagine, so you guys are welcome. Please drop a like if you're still with me in the video. Build complete. Functionality wise, if it gives you like 10% more range and you just, you are like an Uber driver or like that adds up. Yeah. 
Okay, so we got the Halo discs on. There's what they look like. And now we're gonna go back home, start the loop over. Battery's heated up, so let's see how these do. For the run that we do tonight, temperature is 65 degrees. The cool, for the very first run I did, it was 61 degrees and that same day it got up to 72. So we're within about the same temperature band. Really the most important part is the battery being heated up, which it is, so we're all set there. If you guys are still with me in the video, I appreciate it. Please hit the like button. It's free, please, this took me days. So here's the results. Five different wheel settings that I did. Half hubs, which is stupid. Full hubs, no hubs, all on the 19 inch wheel. Also, the halo disc on the 19 inch wheel. And finally, the 20 inch induction wheels. Here's the consistency in this test. All of the loops took me 48 minutes, except for one that took me 47 minutes. Um, I have the watt hours per mile on average. I also have the kilowatt hours of battery used on each loop. Also, each loop was 43 miles. So we'll start out with the most inefficient here, and it's no surprise, it's the 20 inch induction wheels. 43 miles, 253 watt hours per mile, and 14 kilowatt hours. Now this is partially 45 mile per hour speed limit and 65 mile per hour speed limit with me going five miles per hour over the speed limit on average. So that was our most inefficient. Second most inefficient, and I thought this was a surprise, were with the halo discs on. Now, 48 minutes, 247 watt hours per mile, and I didn't get the kilowatt hours per mile because I didn't reset from the last charge, so I don't have that. Now, with the Halo discs, I did not have the rear, like, Gemini hubs on. I just had the 19-inch wheel exposed. I wish I would have done it with the hubs on, and that might have given it a better rating. But that's what I got in my testing. I'm not saying that they don't work or anything. I just think there might have been an error in my testing. The third most efficient is half hubs. 48 minutes, 246 watt-hours per mile, and 11 kilowatt-hours used. Um, 11 kilowatt hours, if you're charging at home, comes out to $1.21. At my house, it's 11 cents per kilowatt hour. The second most efficient is no hubs, 43 miles, 48 minutes, 238 watt hours per mile, 10 kilowatt hours used. And no surprise, full hubs on the 19 inch Gemini wheels, 47 minutes, 235 watt hours per mile, 10 kilowatt hours used of battery. That's the most efficient. Um, in terms of ride quality and, and noise in the car, I have the 20s back on the car now. I'm going to be selling the 19 inch wheels. If you want those, DM me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever. The 20s are noticeably louder. The ride quality is definitely better with the 19s, but it's like very slight. It's nothing crazy. Um, and then really over distances, if you're gonna be traveling a lot, I mean, just in the test, I did 14 kilowatt hours compared to 10 kilowatt hours. That gets significant over time uh, with how much energy you're using. So it does make a difference. I would say what's reflected on Tesla's site as far as the range goes is probably fairly accurate. The EPA estimates that they have are very tough to achieve. Um, so if you want to achieve the EPA estimate, get the actual range out of your Tesla Model Y long range. I looked this up for the long range you need to be at 279 watt hours per mile. That is under ideal temperatures. That's under, you know, no rain, uh, making sure you have the correct tire pressure. All that stuff adds up in the end. Uh, but I hope this video was helpful to you in making your decision on which wheel to get. Again, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Let me know what questions you guys have down in the comments below or maybe errors that I have in this testing that you want me to fix next time I do it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.